My friend, have you ever felt like you're drowning in worry and fear, struggling to stay afloat amidst life storms? Perhaps it's the uncertainty of the future, the weight of responsibilities, or the challenges we face in our relationships. Today, we're going to explore how we can release the grip of worry and fear, and instead place our trust in God, even in the midst of life's most difficult moments. Recognizing the Source of Worry and Fear Worry and fear often sneak into our hearts like unwelcome guests, bringing with them a heavy burden that weighs us down. But where do these feelings come from? Why do they seem to have such a strong grip on us? Firstly, it's important to understand that worry and fear are natural human emotions. They're like warning signs that something isn't quite right, like when your stomach growls to tell you it's hungry. But just like you don't want to stay hungry forever, you don't want to let worry and fear linger too long either. One source of worry and fear is our tendency to focus on things we can't control. Think of it like trying to hold on to a handful of sand. No matter how tightly you squeeze, some grains will always slip through your fingers. When we obsess over things beyond our control, like what might happen tomorrow, or what others think of us, we only end up feeling more anxious and powerless. Another source is comparison. It's easy to look around and see others who seem to have it all together, making us feel inadequate or left behind. But remember, what we see on the outside isn't always the full picture. Everyone faces struggles and challenges, even if they don't show it. Lastly, worry and fear can stem from past experiences or traumas. Maybe you've been hurt before, or you've faced disappointment or failure. Those memories can cast a shadow over the present, making it hard to trust that things will be different this time. But here's the thing. Recognizing the source of worry and fear is the first step to overcoming them. When we shine a light on our worries and fears, we take away some of their power. We can start to see them for what they really are, fleeting emotions that don't define us. So today, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on what's been weighing on your heart. What are the sources of your worry and fear? As we explore how to trust God in difficult times, remember that you're not alone in your struggles. God sees you, He loves you, and He's ready to help you let go of worry and fear and embrace His peace. The Folly of Worry Imagine a small bird soaring gracefully through the sky without a care in the world. It doesn't fret about tomorrow or stress over where its next meal will come from. Jesus points to these birds and asks, Are you not much more valuable than they? Matthew 6 verse 26 Worry is like a thief that robs us of our peace and joy. It creeps into our minds, whispering worst-case scenarios and stealing our confidence in God's provision. But here's the truth. Worrying doesn't change a thing. In fact, it only adds unnecessary burden to our already heavy hearts. When we worry, we're essentially saying to God, I don't trust you to take care of me. But the reality is that God is faithful. He knows our needs even before we ask, and He promises to provide for us according to His riches and glory. Philippians 4 verse 19 Worrying about the future doesn't add a single moment to our lives. Instead, it robs us of the present moment, the precious gift of today. Jesus reminds us to focus on the here and now, trusting that God will give us the strength and wisdom we need for each day's challenges. Matthew 6 verse 34 So, the next time you feel worry creeping in, pause and remind yourself of God's faithfulness. Remember the countless times He has come through for you in the past and trust that He will do it again. Choose faith over fear, knowing that you are held securely in the palm of his hand. The power of trust. Trust is like the sturdy anchor that keeps a boat secure amidst raging waves. When we trust in God, we anchor our hearts to his unchanging character and promises, even when the storms of life threaten to overwhelm us. Think about it this way. When you trust someone, you believe they'll come through for you, right? You know, like when you ask a friend 
to help you with something important, you trust that they'll be there for you. Well, trusting in God is kind of like that, but on a much bigger scale. You see, when we trust God, we're saying, God, I believe you've got this. I believe you're in control, even when things seem out of control to me. It's like handing over the reins of our life to someone who knows the way better than we do. Jesus himself encourages us to trust in God's care. He says, look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Matthew 6 verse 26. Isn't that amazing? God takes care of the birds, and he values us even more. So when we trust in God, we're saying, God, I trust you to take care of me, just like you take care of the birds. And you know what? God is faithful. He never breaks his promises. When we trust him with our worries and fears, he gives us something incredible in return. Peace. The kind of peace that doesn't make sense in the midst of chaos. The kind of peace that wraps around us like a warm blanket, reminding us that we're safe in God's hands. So, my friend, let's choose to trust in God, even when life gets tough. Let's anchor our hearts to His promises and watch as He fills us with His peace that surpasses all understanding. Trusting in God isn't always easy, but it's always worth it. Drawing Strength from God's Promises In Psalm 56 verses 3-4, to David declares, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise. In God I trust and am not afraid. Here, David shows us the power of anchoring our trust in God's promises. But what are these promises, and how can they give us strength in difficult times? Firstly, God promises His presence. In Joshua 1 verse 9, He assures us, Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. This means that no matter how alone or overwhelmed we may feel, God is always by our side, ready to guide and comfort us. Secondly, God promises His provision. In Matthew 6 verse 26, Jesus tells us to look at the birds of the air and how God takes care of them. If He provides for the birds, how much more will He provide for us, His beloved children? This doesn't mean we won't face challenges, but it means that God will always give us what we need to endure and overcome. Thirdly, God promises his peace. In John 14 verse 27, Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. This peace isn't just the absence of trouble. It's a deep sense of calm and assurance that comes from knowing we are loved and cared for by God. Lastly, God promises his purpose. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, he declares, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Even in the midst of trials, God has a plan for our lives, and he promises to work all things together for our good. So when we're feeling overwhelmed by worry and fear, let's cling to these promises like a life raft in the stormy sea. Let's remind ourselves of God's presence, provision, peace, and purpose, and let them fill us with strength and hope. For as we anchor our trust in God's promises, we can face any storm with confidence, knowing that He is faithful and true. Choosing Faith Over Fear In life, we often encounter situations that trigger fear within us. It could be the fear of failure, the fear of rejection, or the fear of the unknown. But as followers of Christ, we're called to rise above these fears and walk in faith. Think of faith as a light that dispels the darkness of fear. When we choose faith, we're choosing to trust in God's goodness and His promises, even when circumstances seem bleak. But how do we cultivate this faith that overcomes fear? Firstly, we need to saturate our minds with the truth of God's Word. The Bible is filled with promises that remind us of God's faithfulness 
and his power to overcome any obstacle. When we immerse ourselves in scripture, we're equipping ourselves with the tools we need to combat fear. Secondly, prayer is essential. When we pray, we're not just talking to the air. We're communicating with the creator of the universe, the one who holds all things in his hands. In prayer, we can pour out our fears and anxieties before God, trusting that he hears us and cares for us deeply. Additionally, surrounding ourselves with a community of believers can provide much-needed support and encouragement. We're not meant to walk this journey alone. When we share our struggles with others and pray together, we're reminded that we're part of a larger family, a family that stands together in faith. Lastly, it's important to take practical steps to strengthen our faith. This could mean stepping out of our comfort zones, taking risks, and trusting God to lead us. It's in these moments of stepping out in faith that we experience God's faithfulness in tangible ways. So today, I encourage you to choose faith over fear. Trust in God's promises, lean on His strength, and walk boldly in the assurance that He is with you every step of the way. As you do, you'll discover a peace that surpasses all understanding and a courage that enables you to face any challenge that comes your way. Living with confidence and peace. When we let go of worry and fear and trust in God, we can live with confidence and peace. But what does that really mean? It means we're not just surviving, but thriving even in the toughest times. It's like having an anchor in a stormy sea, steady, unshakable, and secure. Imagine you're walking through a dark forest. It's scary, right? But then you realize you have a lantern to light your path. That's what trusting God is like. He guides us through the darkness of our fears, illuminating our way with His love and truth. Living with confidence means believing in something bigger than ourselves. It's like having a superhero on your side, ready to rescue you whenever you need help. And guess what? God is our superhero, always there to save the day. But confidence isn't just about feeling strong on the outside. It's also about having peace on the inside. It's like having a calm lake in the midst of a raging storm. No matter how wild the waves get, the lake remains serene and tranquil. That's the peace God offers us. A peace that surpasses all understanding. A peace that nothing in this world can take away. So, how do we live with confidence and peace? It starts with trusting God with all our heart. It means surrendering our worries and fears to Him and letting His love fill us up. It means reminding ourselves of His promises every day and holding on to them tightly like a precious treasure. And here's the best part. When we live with confidence and peace, it's contagious. It spreads to those around us like a warm hug on a cold day. Our friends, our family, our neighbors, they see the light shining in us and it gives them hope too. So, let's choose confidence over fear and peace over worry. Let's trust in God with all our heart and let His love lead the way. Because when we do, we can live with confidence and peace no matter what comes our way. As we conclude our time together today, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on areas in your life where worry and fear may have taken hold. Surrender those concerns to God in prayer, trusting in His provision and care for you. But remember, prayer is not just about talking to God. It's also about listening. Take a moment to quiet your heart and mind and listen for His gentle voice speaking to you. He may provide comfort, guidance, or a sense of peace that surpasses understanding. Additionally, consider reaching out to a trusted friend, family member, or spiritual mentor for support and encouragement. Sometimes, sharing our burdens with others can lighten the load and remind us that we're not alone in our struggles. Finally, choose faith over fear in your daily decisions and actions. Instead of dwelling on the what-ifs and worst-case scenarios, focus on the truth of God's promises and the strength He provides. Step out in faith, knowing that He is faithful to lead you and uphold you with His righteous right hand. Together, 
Let's take these steps of faith, trusting in God's unfailing love and provision. As we do, we'll experience His peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Remember that letting go of worry and fear is not a one-time event, but a daily choice. It's like taking off a heavy backpack filled with anxieties and handing it over to God, who eagerly waits to carry our burdens for us. So, as you leave here today, make a conscious decision to trust God with every concern, big or small. And as we step out into the world, let's be beacons of hope and light, shining brightly in the midst of life's storms. Our trust in God is not just for our own benefit, but also for those around us, who desperately need to see the peace and joy that come from surrendering to Him. So, go forth with confidence, knowing that the same God who calmed the raging sea and conquered death itself is by your side. Let His love and grace overflow from your life, touching hearts and inspiring others to trust in Him too. May the peace of God dwell richly in your hearts, guiding you through every trial and filling you with unshakable hope. And may you always remember that in Christ, you are more than conquerors. Before we close, let's bow our heads in prayer, inviting God's presence to continue to work in our hearts and lives. Heavenly Father, in this moment of prayer, we humbly come before your throne of grace, grateful for the opportunity to commune with you. As we reflect on the message we've heard today, we acknowledge the depth of your love and the power of your promises. We confess our tendency to allow worry and fear to consume us, forgetting the magnitude of your faithfulness and the strength of your presence. Today, we surrender our anxieties and concerns to you, knowing that you are our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. Lord, we ask for your forgiveness, for the times we have doubted your goodness and questioned your provision. Help us to fix our eyes on you, the author and perfecter of our faith, trusting in your unfailing love and abiding presence. Fill us afresh with your peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. May your Spirit empower us to walk in faith, even when circumstances seem daunting and uncertainties abound. Lord, we lift up to you, those who are facing overwhelming challenges and battling against fear and anxiety. Wrap them in your comforting embrace, reminding them of your promise to never leave them nor forsake them. Strengthen their faith and grant them courage to face each day with confidence, knowing that you are with them every step of the way. Father, we also pray for those who are struggling to see past their circumstances, feeling hopeless and defeated. Pour out your grace upon them, Lord, and fill them with the assurance of your unfailing love. Help them to surrender their burdens to you, trusting in your faithfulness to carry them through. May they experience the freedom that comes from letting go of worry and fear and embracing your peace that transcends all understanding. Heavenly Father, as we go forth from this place, may your presence go with us, guiding our steps and illuminating our path. Help us to be beacons of your light and vessels of your love in a world that is often filled with darkness and despair. May our lives reflect the hope and joy that come from knowing you, and may we inspire others to place their trust in you alone. All glory, honor, and praise be unto you, now and forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. In response to today's message of letting go of worry and fear and trusting in God, I invite you to take action. First, like this video to show your support and spread this message of hope to others. Second, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on future messages and content that will inspire and uplift you. Finally, share this video with your friends and loved ones so they too can find encouragement in trusting God during difficult times. Together, let's spread the light of faith and love to all who need it.